Positively Birmingham walking tours are every Saturday at 1.30. They start and finish at the Library of Birmingham, one and three quarter hours, so we get back around about 3.15. One thing that people find really fascinating when they tour with us is the way that Birmingham completely reinvents its city centre every few years. There's no better example of that than Centenary Square itself. For you know, this was finished in 1991 and opened by the Queen. And items of public art in the square have already gone over the years. The Tom Lomax water feature went when the new library of Birmingham was being built. The forward statue over here by Raymond Mason, the Birmingham-born sculptor uh, living in Paris. Uh, that was burnt down by a couple of lads. And the Ron Hazelden uh, neon uh, birds feature in the canopy of the ICC, uh, that was taken down when bits started falling off and it was deemed to be unsafe. The square itself was designed by artist Tess Jarre, who really saw this just like uh, she was painting on canvas, only in a square. And she designed this Persian carpet, which looks absolutely amazing when you look down on it from uh, one of the roof gardens of the Library of Birmingham. Tom Lomax's metalworks are to be retained to a certain extent in new locations. For example, I think some of these railings are going to go to St. Thomas Peace Garden, the other side of Broad Street, where interestingly the colonnades that were here before Centenary Square was redeveloped in the 1990s have already found a home. The new square is going to take about 18 months to redevelop and we'll see a very large water feature and we just hope that we do that one a little bit better than some of the water features we've done in this city. So why not come along to a Positively Birmingham walking tour? You can book online and at the moment, at the end of the tour, there's a free copy of the fifth edition, the brand new Positively Birmingham for uh, every coffee table represented on the tour. See you there.